Hey guys, uh, welcome to your Sagittarius versus all 12 signs reading for September 2023. You can apply this to any of your placements because anything could come up. Uh, we're going to take a look and see what you guys need to know and then we'll finish off the read with Sagittarius versus all 12 signs. Keep in mind that portion is not time stamped uh, because I'm pulling two cards for each of the zodiac signs. They're, they're really quick messages. They're only a couple of seconds. Uh, if you guys, if one of you guys would like to time stamp that for me, I would be happily uh, appreciate that. Okay. So uh, just keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Sagittarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in uh, following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the uh, link for that is in the description box below. I do post readings on there too. All right. Sagittarius. Tell me about Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know for September 2023? What does Sagittarius need to know for September 2023? for Sagittarius, for Sagittarius here, for Sagittarius. All right, King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. We have the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Mm, seems like you have plans regarding your career here. Okay, I feel like you do want to take things to the next level here or that you're looking for some sort of promotion here or some sort of raise here. Uh, I mean, I mean, I, I feel like when it comes to your finances, I don't know what you're planning here, but with the Ten of Pentacles here, you guys are doing pretty dandy here when it comes to your career and your money. Uh, you guys are juggling a lot. You guys are taking a lot of things right now. Okay, when it comes to work, you guys might be overworked here too. King of Wands here and the Nine of Cups. You know, I just feel like whatever is going on here in your life, I feel like things are pretty going pretty well. You guys are pretty happy with where you're at. You know, uh, from what I could tell, you, it seems like you guys are not dealing with anyone specifically when it comes to love or anything like that. Uh, perhaps you guys are just focusing on your own happiness, focusing on your passions, focusing on your work here. You know, kind of like making plans for the future here too. You know, uh, you know, maybe some plans to go, I don't know, traveling, but more plans about your career and your money here. Uh, you know, some of you guys could be in this energy of like ready, just ready to like branch off and do your own thing here. The King of Swords here <clears throat> and the Four of Swords. Knight of Pentacles here and the Fool card here. Aries energy, Aquarius energy. So what we have here is Sagittarius. I just feel like you guys are just enjoying the process here. Yeah, you guys are enjoying life here. Uh, you know, things are pretty peaceful here. You know, I feel like some of you guys are spending a lot of time meditating. You guys are meditating a lot. All right. You know, with the Justice card and the Four of Wands here, some of you guys could be purchasing a new home. Uh, you know, if you guys are purchasing a new home, you know, I feel like uh, you guys are about to close and sign a lot of papers. Or if you guys are selling a home here, that's about to close and you're signing a lot of papers here. Okay, so we have the Justice card here and the Four of Wands here. We have the King of, Pen uh, King of Wands here and the Sun card, Leo Energy. Tell me about the Nine of Cups here and the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I mean, with the Page of Cups here, this could be indication that there is someone new coming into your life here. And whoever this is, this is an individual that could be making you very happy or that you make this person really happy because someone here is definitely seeing you as their wish fulfillment here. This is an individual that has a crush on you or that, you know, you, you kind of like have that this secret admirer, but they're not really maybe letting you know or telling you that. Uh, but whoever this is, you know, this is someone that you could be meeting at work. This is someone that you could be meeting like randomly at a coffee shop or during your travels or something like that, okay? At a bookstore. I feel like this person might read a lot. All right, let's see. Uh, tell me about Sagittarius versus all tall signs. Sagittarius versus all tall signs. Keep in mind this is not time stamps because I pulled two cards for each of the zodiac signs and they're really, 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 really quick messages. So it's not worth time stamping. Okay, but like I said, if you guys want to time stamp it for me, I would really appreciate that. All right, uh, Sagittarius versus all tall signs here. Tell me about Sagittarius versus Aries. We have the Fool card here and the Queen of Swords. 
you know, whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual that's not really com like commit like ready for commitment yet. Because I feel like this person, you know, still wants to do a lot of their own things here. But I feel like this person wants to, you know, get to know you, just see where things go, see how things unfold here. Okay. But there, whoever this is, yeah, this Aries is not looking for commitment here. Sagittarius versus Taurus here. Page of Pentacles here in the moon. Whoever this is, I feel like this person wants to reveal something here to you. Yeah. They want to reveal something that they've been hiding from you, perhaps, you know, about the way that they feel. You know, perhaps this person wants to pursue commitment here with you. And, and, and this person hasn't really found the right time to tell you and they want to tell you now. Uh, Sagittarius versus a, a Gemini here with the Ace of Cups here and the Five of Cups. Um, whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual that has fallen in love with you. Okay, um, and I'm not quite sure what they did here, but they're definitely dealing with some sort of regret here. And I feel like with this Five of Cups and the Ace of Cups here, which is Six of Cups here, I do feel like this person is definitely missing you and they're coming back or they're trying to reconcile or that they're trying to apologize to you. Uh, um, Sagittarius versus a Cancer here with the Two of Cups here and the Eight of Wands. Uh, you and this person, when it comes to this romantic relationship, it's, it's moving forward pretty well. Yeah, it's moving for, forward pretty well. There's harmony, there's balance here, uh, there's happiness, there's a lot of love here, okay? Uh, Sagittarius versus a Leo here. We have the Queen of Cups here and the Three of Swords. Oh, wow. Um, this is an individual that loves you a lot. And I feel like this person has some sort of regret for breaking your heart, okay? I do feel like this is an individual that maybe is coming in with some sort of an apology here, okay? So uh, um, moving on to... Um, Sagittarius versus a Virgo. We have the world card here and the three of cups. Um, this is someone that you're reuniting with, okay? This is someone that you haven't seen for a very long time. And I feel like, you know, I do feel like you're friends with this individual, but I feel like this could turn into something more. Like, I feel like this could turn into kind of like, you know, something romantic between you guys. Like I said, I feel like this is someone that you haven't seen in a long time. And I feel like you might be reuniting with this person because, you know, maybe some, one of you guys moved away and you guys just haven't communicated with each other, okay? Uh, Sagittarius versus Libra here, the Knight of Pentacles here and the High Priestess. Well, whoever this is, I feel like this person definitely is very mysterious here. Okay, I do feel like this person wants to take their time to get to know you. I feel like this person's not really expressive or that this person's not really chatty either. Okay, um, Sagittarius versus a Scorpio here with a magician here and the King of Swords. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like if you are with this person here, I feel like this person's definitely trying to make something happen here with you. Okay, so they could be trying to manifest commitment and marriage here with you guys. All right, you know, whoever this is, I do feel like this is an individual that's really, really intelligent. And I feel like every, anything that this, this person does, you know or anything that this person puts their sights on something or tries to work on something it just kind of turns to gold sort of thing okay Sagittarius versus the Sagittarius two of pentacles here and the ace of pentacles mm, this person's ju definitely juggling you because I feel like this person's definitely trying to figure out whether they want higher levels of commitment here with you or not okay uh, Sagittarius versus Capricorn here three of wands here and the king of cups uh, whoever, whoever this is I feel like this is an individual that's missing you okay they're definitely yearning for you or pining for you or that they're waiting for you to come back. Uh, they're in love with you, okay? Sagittarius versus an Aquarius here with the devil here and the Knight of Swords. Whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual that's really obsessed with you. I do feel like this person might have narcissistic tendencies here and they feel like they want to manipulate you into coming back into your life if you're separated from this individual. Uh, Sagittarius versus a Pisces here with the King of Wands here and the Six of Cups. Whoever this is, this is an individual that's missing you a lot. Okay, if you're separated from this individual, I feel like this person does want a reconciliation with you. Uh, you know, this could also be an indication that there's de definitely some sort of deep soul connection with you and this person, kind of like a past life soul connection. And, you know, this could be new love and you guys might have a, a very intense connection with this Pisces here. Okay, so Sagittarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.